Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nivs home school this is mohammad imdadul haq assistant teacher of mathematics national Real english version school dash it dear students today i am going to conduct a math class of class 8 our today's topic is exercise 1 question 10 this is a creative question in today's class i will solve this creative question okay dear students now we are going to start our class this is our fifth lecture and in this class i have given a question for your homework this is your third homework for half yearly examination and this is a creative question which i have given for your homework when i'll complete today's lecture then i'll show you the question okay dear students let us see what is our question at first uh, solve the question at first we will solve the question okay now see exercise 1 question 10 the pattern of the triangles is constructed with mastics it means that here are some triangles in the first figure there there are one tri there is one triangle in the second figure there are two triangles in the third figure there are three triangles one two three so this is a pattern formed by some triangles okay now first question find the number of matchsticks in the fourth pattern question b explain how you can find the next number in the pattern question c how many matchsticks are required to construct the hundredth pattern okay dear students our first question is find the number of mastics in the fourth pattern dear students to solve question a we can uh, imagine the next figure or fourth figure what will be the fourth figure dear students if you observe the given figures here in the first figure there is one triangle in the second figure there are two triangles in the third figure there are three triangles so in the fourth figure there will be four triangles there will be four triangles so we can construct the fourth figure following the given pattern so we can write solution question a according to the according to the given figures constructed with triangles according to the given figures constructed according to the given figures of triangles constructed with constructed with matchsticks we can construct the fourth pattern fourth figure fourth figure as follows so fourth figure will be there will be four triangles here in the first figure there there, there are in the first figure there is one triangle in the second figure there are two triangles so in the third figure there will be three triangles in the fourth figure there will be four triangles so now see how many triangles here one two three four so this is the fourth figure this is the fourth figure and these triangles four triangles here these triangles are constructed with matchsticks 
So counting the mastics, we can say the number of mastics in the fourth figure. From the above figure, above figure, you can write this one fourth. From the above figure, we get there are there are how many mastics here? We can count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we can count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 matchsticks. Okay, dear students, so this is our answer of question A. How many matchsticks are in the fourth figure? There are nine matchsticks. Okay, so we can say we have done question A. Now we have to solve question B. What is question B? Explain how you can find the next number in the pattern we have to find the next number to find the next number we have to uh, form the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern at first okay so see the solution of question b in the first figure there are in the first figure there are three sticks So you can write here question B. In the first figure, there are three sticks. In the second figure, There are how many sticks here? One, two, three, four, five. Five sticks. In the third figure, there are seven sticks here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven sticks. So the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern is. So the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern. is what is the numeric pattern here 3 5 7 3 5 7 this is the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern now if we determine the difference between two consecutive term what will be the difference difference is to here difference is to here so the difference between two consecutive term is 2. Difference between two consecutive term is 2. Using the, this, the, this difference, as the difference is same, we can find the algebraic expression or we can say uh, how can you, how can we find the next term. Okay, so we can write here observe that, observe that. The difference between two consecutive terms is 
consecutive terms of the pattern is 2 so every time the number is increasing by 2 so every time every time the number of the pattern is increasing by 2 therefore if we add 2 with the next number with the previous number we will get the next number as the numbers of the pattern are increasing by 2 so if we add 2 with the previous number we will get the next number so this is the process for determining the next number or next pattern so we can say therefore therefore if we if we add 2 with the previous number with the previous number we will get the next number we will get the next number in the pattern ok dear students I hope you have understood how can we get the next number in the pattern just we need to add to it means the difference with the previous term to get the next term ok dear students so we have done question B now we have to solve question C so we have to know what is question C how many mistakes are required to construct the hundredth pattern dear students to determine the hundredth pattern we need how many mistakes we have to find out that in question C to determine this the number of mastics in the hundred pattern it's not easy manually it's very hard to determine the number of mastics manually so we have to apply a technique what can be the technique the students uh, in the previous class we have learned how to determine the algebraic expression of the pattern if we can determine the algebraic expression of the pattern and there if we put the value of the variable 100 then we will get the 100th pattern and that value will be the number of mastics now of 100th pattern ok dear students so at first we have to determine the algebraic expression now question C to determine the algebraic expression we can write the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern from B from B we get from B we get the numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern is the numeric pattern is 3 5 7 here the difference between two consecutive term is 2 
as the difference is same we can determine the algebraic expression using this difference i have shown this technique before now first term or first number first term what is the first term the first term is 3 here we have to express this first term using the difference here i have told at first write the difference then multiply this by number of terms so product of 2 and 1 is 2 but here is 3 if we add 1 with this we will get the first term 3 so this is the first term we can write the first term as product of difference and number of terms and then we have to add one second term second term is 5 so we can write here 2 into 2 here this is ter term is 2 so we have to add here 1 2 to the 4 and we need 1 to get 5 third now third term what is the third term here the third term is 7 to get 7 we need difference into third term for 3 and then 1 3 to the 6 and 1 is 7 I have determined a technique here what is the technique here the number of terms number of ter difference into number of terms plus 1 this is the technique so you can write here nth term nth term so here will be 2 into n plus 1 where the value of n 1 2 3 4 in this way this will continue it means that n is natural number n is natural number Okay, dear student. So, this is the algebraic expression of the given pattern. Numeric pattern of the given geometric pattern. This is the algebraic expression. So, if we put the value of this n is 100, we will get the number of sticks in the 100th pattern. So, we can write here, therefore, 100th term. will be 2 into 100 plus 1 that will be equal to 200 plus 1 it means 201 therefore the number of mastics in the 100 pattern will be 201 so we can write here the required number of mastics the required number of mastics in the hundred pattern is 201 so this is our answer for question C so I have solved question see okay dear students i hope you have understood how to solve this question and now i will give you your homework this is homework three this is a creative question this question you will do properly okay dear students now see our today's homework minus one two five eight eleven is a pattern okay we have to solve this question. Question A. Express 325 as sum of two squares in two ways. Express 325 as sum of two squares in two ways. Question B. Which algebraic expression is followed by the pattern? Present it with logic. Question C. Find the sum of first 30 numbers of the list. Okay, dear students, solve this question and as your homework and submit your homework on next Sunday. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe. See you again. Till then, Assalamu Alaikum.